Let's get this up. Okay. This is from one of my favorite subs. It's like every sub on Reddit is like a different aspect of the toxicology of cuckage, right? It's like, mm -hmm. well, how does cuck how does uh, cucketry negatively affect your life? It's like cancer. It's like, yeah, well, you, you know, you might get some medicine, and lose your hair, your bones might break, your balls might fall. It's a bunch of different stuff, you see. But this sub is what happens when you marry a sloot. This is the negative effects of feminism. Because don't get me wrong, the institution of marriage is the foundation of civilization. And mm -hmm. if women weren't given absolute power over you, it would be necessary. But since, you know, modern marriages do what the woman wants or the government comes in and, uh, uh, you know, castrates you financially in front of the family court, eh, you know, this is why marriage is kind of a no-go for most dudes. But the this sub is Dead Bedrooms. Ribby, you know about the Dead Bedroom subreddit? Oh, <laughs> my my wife hasn't touched my pee pee in six years yet i walked in on her getting tag teamed by chad and tyrone putting her legs behind her head and opening up all three holes Brutal, i think I, I think i saw one it was like um i've been married for five years and i'm still a virgin <laughs> oh, oh can, can you imagine <laughs> we just, oh my goodness no need yet she'll divorce you Go on with Chad and Tyrone and take half your stuff. No poo. We're going on vacation, boys. Thank my husband. Goddamn. Yeah, so we're going through the uh, the cuck swamps right now. Uh, Chronic Ribby are on a like a fan boat. What is it called a fan boat? Giant fan. Mm -hmm. And we're going through like the dark areas where dudes fell off the boat and are just being tortured by the yeah. feminist snakes. And they're just like under. It's like the scene from Lord of the Rings. You know, all the dead bodies in the swamp. But the dudes are like puniti. <laughs> No booty, it's the dead swamps. No, the best, the best part is Chronic has his blunt and it's blowing behind the the fan boat, and all the birds in the swamp are just like falling over because you're getting stoned <laughs> to pass shit. It stoned out. to shit. It's the yeah. dead bedroom swamp. So here we go. Divorce. Now she wants to talk. So uh, this guy's story is he's getting no pussy in marriage. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's it's nothing brand new. Like you guys aren't like what you're saying that a guy married a woman and he's getting no pussy. Everybody told me you married and get pussy. You get pussy every day of your life. You see all your simp friends go around. I'm married. I get laid frequently. <laughs> I've heard. Uh, I've heard two things from people. A, when you put a ring on, when you have the marriage, it slows, and then you have kids on top of that, and you've been married a couple years longer, and then it's like done. Maybe you know like about the times a year. You know about the three rings of marriage. Oh, I do. I do. Okay, I see engagement ring, the wedding ring, and then the suffering. Yep, uh, the classic. <laughs> Yeah, so let's get to this guy's story. So his background is getting no. It's it, the background's the same. Most of these guys, they're both on dead bedrooms, right? This is now she wants to talk. Like many of you have suggested, I had a consultation with a lawyer about proceeding with divorce. I hadn't yet made up my mind, but the meeting really set my worries at ease. Sure, I'll be on money for a few years, but since the house belongs to my grandfather, I won't have to worry about moving. Well, so at right least away, we'll be something tight. <laughs> <laughs> so right away, it looks like this guy's on the right direction, right? I mean. He, he talked to a divorce. He's, he's like, I'm thinking about divorcing the girl that doesn't make my schlong wet. It's like, okay, but we can't, we can't be too judgmental on this dude. Cause we're coming from a, you know, we're coming from a position of knowledge. It's like yeah. you, it's like talking to a commie bread tuber about biology. It's like, if you're trained in biology, you kind of have to go down to their level a little bit. It, it can't roast them too much about not knowing how you know, gene systems interplay with each other. But when it Electronic. comes to the basics, we're Science going. doesn't take into account my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> but when it comes to the basics that, you know, X and Y chromosomes exist, then you can kind of roast them. But this guy, at least he met with a lawyer. So mm -hmm. continuing, he says, last night, my wife and I were spooning on the couch watching TV. <laughs> Wait, what's funny? What, Ribby, what's what? what? He's, he's getting no poon. He's this like, is the dead bedroom subreddit. So he's like squeezing against your like, uh, maybe I could dry hump her thigh. <laughs> you're like freshman year of high bro. school. You have a girl over for a movie and you're like, scoot uh, too close. Weak. Yep. Yep. So she scooted her butt into me and I kissed her neck and lowered my hand to her butt. She turned around at me and looked at me with a face twisted in disgust and said, stop trying that. 
why do you make me feel terrible? <laughs> <laughs> your husband gives you a kiss and you're like, get off me, you peasant. What the hell are you doing? She's like, she's like, I'm going to put my rump up to next to his schlong. And then when he touches me, I'm like, you just, uh, uh, you're making me feel bad. It's so obvious she was never attracted to him. There's, that's all you're at a club. A chick starts grinding at you. And then when she feels you get hard, she's like, oh my God, what are you doing? How could this happen? Just in the look of disgust, like if a woman ever looks at you with disgust, yeah. she's not there for you. She doesn't care no. about your feelings. She's not attracted to your body. She's only interested in the money and lifestyle you can provide for her. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, and we're going to see the turn on real fast. She says, why do you make me feel terrible? Um, imagine, imagine feeling terrible because your, your husband wants to have sex with you. <laughs> Just, uh, ugh, yeah, I feel rough. horrible. <laughs> He says, I got up immediately and went to grab a glass of water. Yeah, good. That's the only thing that's going to satiate your thirst here, boy. And then sat in the <laughs> armchair and looked at her. I told her that she is breaking my heart and this marriage is failing. I said, I don't feel loved by her. And she replied with, not this again. What do you want me to say? Ribby. Oh. This man's heart is broken. He's like telling her, you are breaking my heart. This marriage is failing. And she goes, not this again. What do you want me to say? It's like arguing over the dishes. This dude's heart, you know, is if you take romance out of marriage, no, seriously, if you take romance and the ass idea of romance out of a marriage, there is no fucking reason to get married. None. You're, you're, you're a platonic grooming to that point. Yep. Except you're just paying for it. Oh, yeah, so no, you right. might as well just live with one of your buddies and split the bill. Yeah. Then share know? a sex doll. You <laughs> get more <Yeah>. action. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. So she doesn't care about his feelings. She doesn't care about his heart and she's disgusted by him. This is just off the second paragraph. He says, I told her I'm considering a divorce because quite frankly, I know she will not change and I no longer care. She shot up in panic and kept saying, what are you talking about? As though she had no idea I was miserable. It, it, he just literally said he's miserable. He's like, I don't think this is going to work. I think our marriage is failing. And she's like, what are we going to do about it? He's like, I think we're going to get divorced. He's like, ah, what, what, what? It's because she's been whipping this simp dog for so long. Dude, that's like Ribby stumbles up to the bar. He's like, I'd like a drink, please. <laughs> They're like, get out. We're not serving you. So I'm like, all right. I'll, I'll go leave, go to another bar. And I walk out. They're like, oh, wait, where are you going? Wait, wait, like, half off shots. Wait, where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, dude, you, she just told him to put an egg in his shoe and beat it or beat it by himself. Don't go anywhere near her. Don't kiss her. Don't touch her. Nothing. He said, I'm miserable. My heart's broken. She, ah, I don't care. And then he's like, all right, well, I guess we might as well get divorced. And then she's like, oh, what? what? Dude, come on. I give no puniti and I tell him I don't care about his heart. And now he wants to divorce me. I thought I thought I could just sit on the couch and look pretty, and that's all I need to do to be a wife. And he hasn't even mentioned he hasn't even mentioned kids, so it's not like oh yeah, she could have the defense of well, stay together for the kids, the family, like, no my kids, kids. Yeah. my kids. Yeah. And he says, he says, I then got up and grabbed my car keys and headed towards the door, and she sprinted after me, screaming about how we need to talk through this. I said, What do you want me to say? And left. Boom. <laughs> This is How's this is the feel? reason why I picked this story. I'm like, oh, it's like in that moment, the simp's balls finally received blood flow for the first time in 20 years. <laughs> They're like, wait a second, this is bullshit. Oh man, did he say how long they were married? Either I don't no, know. What he I, says. I think it was like five or six years. I don't know. I mean, how long would you be? Uh, here's the thing. If I did not get puniti on my wedding night. I'm literally going to leave the, the bedroom, the hotel, wherever I am, to the nearest courthouse and stand there. I don't care if it's three days through the weekend. I don't care if it's snowing. and sl I'm going to stand there to get an annulment. Yeah. And these dudes out here are just like <laughs> pussyless for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm picturing he's like, Puniti? She's like, you disgust me. And then he walks out <laughs> and then she chases him crying. No, don't go. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? He says, I went to a Starbucks and ordered tea. Y'all, I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel like the fucking world was lifted off my shoulders. Yeah, that's what happens when you respect yourself. I came back around 11 p.m. and heard her crying in the bedroom. And here's the thing. Like, she's going to cry. She's going to pull out the stop. She, I'm so hurt. I'm so sorry. I'm so... Where... And she's expecting you to care. I guarantee yeah. you this dude has spent countless nights crying, 
miserable and she did not even I just recognize want it Puniti. <laughs> exactly no he's like i just want my wife to love me and she was just there cold like get over it not this yeah. again i'm disgusted dude, honestly it goes to the old saying unless this chick is asexual or something which she doesn't specify that she is if she's not getting it from you she's getting it from somewhere so you've heard many stories where the sex just stops completely and the guy's getting none then you find out later Chad and Tyrone, the mailman, mm -hmm. her boss, whoever it is, yep. are getting all that good, good, like, oh, daily. Yeah. Yep. And it's leaking on your sheets. Oh. He says, I, I heard her crying in the bedroom. I slept on the couch, and this morning I made some bacon and eggs. She said we needed to talk, and I agreed. But after I went to the gym. Okay, this is even getting better. This is getting better. <laughs> this yes. is getting better. And she got so fucking pissed. She accused me of breaking the marriage apart, not caring about her. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. We could talk about our feeling relationship, but right now it's games o'clock and the gym's calling my name. She accused me of being selfish. I ignored her and said, we can talk until we're dead when I come back. But why should I have to respond to your needs right away when I've had to make a two-year appointment to even discuss what I want without you shutting me down? And that's the, that's the thing. His needs were not being met. His heart was being broken for two years and she didn't give a fuck. As soon as she spends one night crying, it's an emergency. We need to talk right now. No, no. Mm -hmm. At this, I mean, at this point, this, I, you know, I say this a lot. This guy divorced her in his heart as soon as she was disgusted with him off that couch. There's no going back, right? It's kind of like yeah. you can marry someone in your heart, you can divorce them in your heart too. So this is done. I, it's at this point, we're just cleaning up the bodies. He's got a new mistress. It's called the gym. Yep. The gym <laughs> is like, one of my favorite songs is uh, the gym is my girlfriend. It's by a bodybuilder. Right? It's hilarious. <laughs> He's like moaning in the back. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Anyhow, back to this case. He says she continued arguing, but I left again. I'm now at the gym and 100% sure that this is how I want to proceed. I'm happier now with simply the thought of living a new life without her. Thanks guys. Round of applause for the ex simp. Happy ending. I know. You don't get a lot of happy endings on this. Usually it's like, I found out she was having sex with my dad, my uncle, and my dog. <laughs> now, dude, even happier ending, he'd be like, I finished my gym, was looking great. Then I checked myself in. I went to a nice Asian massage parlor, and I got a literal happy ending. That was the end. Yep. Yep. But uh, that's all for that story. Do you have any, any closing thoughts on the dead marriage situation? I mean, in the, in the comments, he's like, ha everybody's like saying, this is great. He's like, I know, I'm out of here. I mean, dude, we don't have much context. He doesn't give his age or how long they were married, but he tried. She was like, nah. And then he walked away. And she, <laughs> she was like, mad nah. <laughs> that he was he was mad that he that he finally uh saw the writing on the wall and left. So good for that guy. Look, once it's done, it's done. Mm hmm what else we got? I'm just pulling up more more uh more meat off the Reddit freezer to see if we get any good ones. But what do you guys think of the chat? Was that was that a good video? Was it not? Any questions, comments, concerns, just at me or at Ribby on his stream. Uh, Ribby, are you on my stream or are you watching your stream? Uh, I'm watching mine. Yeah, if so you I see any got... good comments or questions, just shout them out. Yep, I got a chat, super chat from Silas Larson. He says, is our screen, green skin domestic so-and-so wearing an ankle bracelet? Did Susan scold you, Ribby, stop inseminating the interns at work? It's bad form. Let me just say, well, two things there. More importantly, I never mess with people at work. That's like... An old saying, don't defecate where you eat. Anytime I've seen somebody get with somebody at work, it ends up terribly. So. Oh, have you had that go down? Have you had chicks hit on you at work? Yeah, yeah. I had a girl that really wanted me at a job I was at years ago. And I was like going for it. I was kind of drunk. We were out on a company night out. And then I thought about it. And I was just like, nah. I just walked away. I'm like, nah, nah. We worked together. Also, she was like a year or two older than me. And I was like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. No thanks. <laughs> Wait, she was so. older than you? I mean, Ooh. I was like right out of college, maybe 21 at the time. She's she like 22, 23, 23, 24, something like that. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good. I didn't know that at the time. I but, broke my, know. I broke my trend and I dated an older woman. Last woman I dated. I she think was I was 22. dating her in July. No, she's 19. <laughs> hey, she's 19. A little Love. crazy, but hey, it was fun. Let's see what else we got. I mean, I have some, I have a, like an Antifa chick on Twitter. What, let me, let me just read the quote. This is hilarious. We don't, we, need, we don't even need to make this a segment. We'll just laugh at this chick. Let's see here. Oh, you're not going to get that picture up, are you? That was rough. What that pic What picture? Oh, the one you sent me on Discord. Oh, with the chick bending over? Uh, no, the big one. 
Wait here. I'll, let me, maybe I'll get this up on mine. Let me let me grab my let me grab my phone because this quote is hilarious. He's like threatening genocide. And shit. I gave you guys a little preview there. I have a Twitter. What's my Twitter? Not yet. I would tell you guys to follow it, but it's like we're take we have a betting pool of how long it's gonna last. I think I've yep. I've lasted longer than what we thought was gonna go down. <sighs> Let's see here. I'm talking about the pregnant chick on Tinder. Maybe, oh well, no, we'll get ready, oh, we'll get to her. Oh, we'll get to her. Oh, okay. That that was rough. Okay, she says Antifa chick. Uh, actually she's her her pronouns are she slash it. <laughs> yeah, wait, will you send this to me? No, this is just, I'm just going to read this tweet. She says, mm, to sum yeah. up, death to cops, death to cis men, and death to terminally online dummies. Generally, I, I would very much enjoy the chance to see you in person and watch your limp dick, hatred, chival up in fear. Is that to you? Or yeah, is that no, she tweeted that to me. And she also <laughs> said, uh, it's, she said, what'd she say? I, she say, we're going to, we're going to survive. Because she's Antifa. She's like, you guys are going to. Come find me and say it with your chest, right? Unless you're too chicken shit to deal with the ramifications of fucking with someone who actually has a community to back them up. Come the day I'll be safe in the countryside, living off the land, and you'll just be a walking loot crate. To which I responded, ain't no hormone replacement in the countryside, sir. That pissed her <laughs> off. She says, we'll make our own estrogen and synthesize it from raw testicles. Also, it isn't always necessary once I've removed from the gender normative pressures of sissy society. And I... <laughs> I spotted. Wait, wait, wait. I Did said, this chick just say she would synthesize estrogen, estrogen from raw testicles. testicles? Yeah, I said does that. She, does she know how this shit works? No, I responded. <laughs> that's a lot of words to say you swallow. <laughs> She's like, no, nah, kiddo. It's a lot of words to say that as that I, as soon as I castrate all cis men and eat their gonads. <laughs> like, well, dude, she's she, like talking okay, she, about castrating dudes, eating their testicles. Okay, well, dude, it sounds like she's saying she wants to eat your balls. I know. I said, I said, I said, stop worrying me. Men, but yet she wants your, she wants your sack in her mouth. So I, I don't know. There might be a little tension going on there. I know. Like, she, hey, if you, if you want me to teabag you, just say it. Yeah. Her one response <laughs> to everybody, she's like, say it with your chest. And I like tweeted a picture of her profile picture. She's like, a cups, maybe. I'm like, what? A lot of nerves to talk about chest there, bitch. <laughs> Mosquito bites. Goddamn. Exactly. I mean, I, I guess it was a woman. I don't know. I, I assume it's, it's either a truny, a person who cut off their own penis and wants to, you know, live life like a woman, whatever, or a chick who wants to be mad. Both of them are pathetic in their own way. I mean, I could still rock with the chicks who want to like be seen as boys because uh, what I always do, this is the chick uh, I dated, the 19 year old. She's like, I, I actually feel like a boy sometimes. And <laughs> literally, I remember I was pile driving her. I think it was mating press, just destroying it. And I like put her hand up. I put her cheek in my hand. I was like, "Hey, do you feel like a boy right now?" And she slapped me. <laughs> like what? <laughs> just, just open that pussy up. You feel like a man right now? Like you? You really like a man? She's like, she's one of those shy, anxious chicks that never wants to order at a at a restaurant because she's too nervous. I'm like, you would not live. It's like these these feminists, these gen. I'll call them gender extremists. They have no fucking idea what a man is or a man's life. So when these yeah. little girls want attention and they're terminally online and they go, well, I'm actually a boy. I'm actually a man. As soon as they get the man treatment, they break down. They can't handle it. The <laughs> like the, imagine the being a dude treatment. and you're too scared to, to order at a restaurant. That's how nervous you are. That's pretty weak. You'll get destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's like that one, uh, the famous, that one chick who, that lesbian who lived life like a man. Yeah, people have been covering that. And she just yeah. needed herself. I'm like, whatever. She was like, men are actually nice. I joined the bowling team. They were all chill with me. And then she's like, then I was hitting on women and they were so rude. And I'm like, yeah, this chick had no idea what was up. But Yeah, you don't you know. understand how women treat men. Most women treat most men like shit. They're invisible. They don't see them as human. They just they straight up don't. Yep. Yeah. Disgusted by them. Anyway. Disgusting. Okay, what's what's on the next for the Roastathon? I know oh, you dude, want to... You want What's up? Do you want to do the sex doll one? That was pretty funny. I mean, yeah, let's do it. It's just funny. It's just, it's not really, we're, we're talking about, you know, the state of, it's just the state of marriage in the West. Let's get it up. 